If you're looking to do more video with your podcast, I'm about to show you how I assemble my video podcast episode. Thanks so much for joining me. This is for my Inspired Money podcast. I have an intro outro. I recorded the interview using Riverside. There are many ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. You're going to see how I take the separate tracks that I download from Riverside. I make a split screen. I'm editing the video in DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you that right now. Okay, so here's DaVinci Resolve. It's a powerful but free program and it works great. I've gone ahead and created a Sophie Watts project. So that's an empty project here. I'm going to start by bringing in the intro outro. Okay, so here I go. If I expand, this is the audio track below, video track on top, then I can see it better. So for me, I have the intro and outro both in this file, and I need to find where the break is. So I have a break right here. I'm going to split this, and then I need to do two other things. So this is the intro side on the left, the outro side on the right. I'm going to unlink the video from the audio. And the reason that I do that is that the video ends right there. But the audio continues. There's music that fades out. So I want to split this. I'm going to split that there. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to link the video and audio once again. And let me just show you what's happening here. So here's the video. Protected and paid. Now let's get inspired with Sophie Watts. So I want to leave that music that fades out. And the, um, the interview begins there. I'm going to do the same thing to the outro unlink it. I'm going to figure out where the video comes in. Video comes in right there. So I'm going to split that. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to link these once again. Okay, so now I have my intro and my outro. I'm going to make space for my interview. And it'll be interesting how quickly I can do this because I usually don't do this. I usually don't record doing this. All right. So now I want to bring in two interview tracks, the host track and the guest track. Let me see if I can find the file. Here's the host track. That's me. I'm going to move that out of the way. And now I have the guest track coming in on top. Whoa. Okay, I'm a little out of control. Okay, there we go. That's weird here. I don't know why this media offline, what's that all about? That's not good. That's weird. I need to look into that. That seems like a problem. I will fix that after. Maybe there was a problem with my guest track render, but I'll check that because I did do some audio optimization on the Riverside file and rendered that. So I will check on that. All right, here's the split screen part that I want to show you. And there are many different ways to do this. This is how I do it. I have two graphic files that sit on top of my video tracks. So let me show you how this works. I've got this base file. Let me zoom in here, make sure that we line these up properly. 
All right, so where's my guest track starting? So it looks like that. And then I have another layer that goes on top. These are both PNG files, which are transparent so that the opening, you can see through it and see the video tracks underneath. So the first one is just the background. Looks like, it just looks like this. It's two windows with whatever I wanna show as the background. And then there's a layer on top that has my logo, the episode number, my name and the guest's name and social media handles. All right, so if I put the video tracks underneath, I need to stretch the two graphic files, these PNG graphic files to the full length of the interview. There we go. And now I need to resize and position the interview files. So I'm gonna pick the guest first. She's gonna go on the left. And I need to figure out what size I'm going with, right? Because I can go super zoomed in, I could go further out, just making sure that it fits the window. My preference is sort of in between, something pretty zoomed in. Okay, so there is the guest, and sometimes I will hide that just so I can center them better. You can crop as well. So I can crop this right side and move that over just so that it fits. And then I'm gonna pick my track and do similarly two things. I wanna get the zoom right and I need to get the X axis position right. I like to get them fairly similar size so that it's kind of balanced. I don't want one person way zoomed in and the other far away. I like to have some kind of symmetry. So let me put this back. That looks pretty good. And knowing myself, I have pretty good posture at the beginning. I'm sitting fairly upright, but then sometimes I slouch and go down. So I like to just skip around and make sure that both the guest and I are fitting inside the window throughout. Let me just see. She could probably shift over just a touch because she's not centered there. And because we move around as humans, you just have to get a good sense to make sure that the person isn't going way out of frame or isn't sitting forward and ends up being too zoomed in or leaning back and going way out. So if you can find a happy medium. So you can see at the start, she's in, then she sits back a little bit. I think that's fine. Maybe I'll go to point eight. That seems good to me. And then since I shifted her, I wanna make sure my crop is okay on the right side there. Okay, now for the positioning of this whole thing. So I like to time it so that there's balance between the end of the intro and where the interview starts. With Sophie Watt. So probably right about there. Okay, so I'm picking these graphic files as well as the video files. And I wanna move this over to about there. Let's see how the timing is. Now let's get inspired with Sophie Watts. Sophie, welcome. I want to bring that just a little tighter. Okay. One with more time. Sophie Watts. Sophie, welcome to Inspired Money. I'm so excited. That That's pretty good. Where the video intro ends, I'm going to trim here and I'm going to just get rid of that. So now I'm going right in from the outro and then the video comes in. And you can see where my outro ends. It zooms in for three to four frames. One, two, three, 
two, three. Three to four frames. I'm going to go in three to four frames too. One, two, three, four. This is just a subtle thing. You do not need to do this. This is like the ridiculous artist in me trying to create something beautiful. Okay. So what do I do? I am going to dynamic zoom this, and this is what's going to happen. This is kind of subtle, but so the outro is zooming in. And now this is going to do the reverse. And then that goes into here. So this is what it looks like in real time. Sophie, welcome to Inspired Money. Slick, right? I like it. Okay. So now, and just to show you this audio that continued, right? That's the music fading out. Honey, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I've been a big uh, follower and listener for a long time. So uh, glad to be on. Let's jump right in. All right. Cool, right? Music fades out, interview comes in. Now we go straight to the end. And if you'll remember, the end is kind of similar in that the music starts as the interview is ending. So it's not just a straight cut for audio and video. Let me show you. So I had detached the audio and put in the video. They should be connected again. Oh, I messed up. I never reconnected it. So I need to fix that. I didn't link these back. So where is my, here we go. So I'm going to select these, but it is, it is linked. No. Yeah, it is, they are linked. Okay. I don't know what happened there, but we're bringing this to here. All right. So here we go. The interview ends. I just have to figure out if I need to trim the end of the interview for timing. Follow you and find out more. Hey, com, And I'm so cute with you anytime, any place. Thank you so much, Sophie. Totally my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Andy. So what was your favorite? Not bad. I want to shorten it a little bit. So let me look at the guest's audio where she says, thanks for having me. So thanks for having me, Andy. Probably even a little more. Um, back that up. I'm going to go here. So I will select this, this, cut that. I'm cutting that much away. Manually sticking that there. And let's see how that flows. Totally my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Andy. So what was your favorite Inspired Money moment? OK. You see what I did there? I missed cutting the graphic file. So I will just get rid of those. Cut that. And now you're going straight from interview into the outro. So what was your favorite inspired money moment? Perfect. I'm super impressed by Sophie's successful career. OK, two more things. In DaVinci, these files are mono. I need to double check because DaVinci likes this better in stereo. I just need to make sure that it's the mono is going into both left and right channels. If I'm not doing this right, leave a comment and let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. But this is how I usually correct for this. I go to clip attributes. It's set to mono. And maybe that's OK, but I feel like if I make sure that it's in the left and right channels, it's better. I think that my intro outro is already fine. It is. That's a stereo signal. All right. One last thing that I like to do is that I want to make sure that my volume for the intro it's quick and easy to matches. Okay. 
with Seeking Alpha Quant ratings, author ratings, and Wall Street ratings. I see a little red. I just want to bring that back a touch. Get a That's good. How about the interview? That's audio too. <laughs> well, I'm very excited to have you on this show. Your professional trajectory and experience in growing businesses are very... That's for me. Here's for the guest. For many years, almost 20 years. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure by... by by that relationship, I had fallen. It's pretty good. Let me just check mine once again. Because I want to hear from you. What was it like? For many years, almost 20 years. I like it. I'm going to take uh, the I, I, master I'm volume sure up by, a touch. By, by that relationship, I had fallen into the... So I've made sure that the intro matches the interview and the outro and the intro are together. So they, they should be similar so but I, your favorite inspired i like moment. to check just I'm in case i'm super impressed by sophie's successful career that and going to rapper's kids birthday party can you imagine that my big takeaway is that sophie spots megatrends she once worked with musical artists like beyonce there we go and that is it so that's how i stitch my episode together that's how i split my screens if you have any questions or suggestions for improvements please leave a comment let me know. Also leave a comment about your podcast, who you are, what your show's about. I would love to connect and I'll take a look to see how your channel's doing, how your podcast is doing. And um, it'd be great to connect. So please leave a comment. Thanks so much for joining me today.